Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's been a little while. I'm about, I would say, 90% healed from my surgery. So I've been able to do a little bit more. Um, the rain here in the Northeast has been ridiculous. Um, we've had some very large amounts of flooding. Uh, if anybody saw the YouTube videos, of the cars floating away at the Chrysler dealership in Little Falls. I actually used to be a tech there when we opened up there in 2008. And uh, that place is a mess. So in any case, uh, what you're looking at here is uh, yesterday's Facebook freebie. Um, they were People were cleaning out the basement of a house that had belonged to the father. And they are going to be remodeling, and they were giving away a whole bunch of stuff. So this is an Atlas built Craftsman drill press, half inch capacity, bench top. Um, I did take some of the motor and stuff off to get it out of the truck by myself, because it is very heavy. Um, it was fully functional, but the old two prong wiring and toggle switch was a bit questionable. So I'm going to go clean the whole thing up. Um, there are a couple of broken bolts and miss some missing hardware and whatnot. So that's uh, one of yesterday's pro deals. And uh, I'll move over here. And uh, what you're seeing here, and I know Scout Crafter will be loving this. What you're looking at here is $11 worth of fun. Um, I was looking on Craigslist for garage sales near me. And, uh, you know, anytime you see a guy that's got a forklift listed for sale in, at a garage sale, uh, you know, it, it got my attention. So I was like, you know what, I got to go see what else this guy's got. Because he said he had tools and some woodworking stuff, which he did. He really had a lot of stuff. But uh, anyhow, um, I picked up three of these USA-made Irwin vice grip welding clamps. They haven't been used for welding, apparently, because they've got uh, all kinds of glue and crap. Uh, there's a little bit of surface rust, but I'm not complaining. I have uh, two of these little machinist clamps here. I have some... Uh, there you go, Scott. Again, the center drills are your friend. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of those. Um... This is a milling bit, brand new. Um, I believe this is a machinist angle gauge. Again, I can't read that. Uh, maybe if I bring it up here. General Hardware Manufacturing, New York. New York, so this is an Aldi. Um, some, here, again. Ace screw extractors made in the USA and they're a little rusty but there are five of them in there and then the index the number drill bit index 1 to 60 now there are some missing um, that a little better there are some missing there's one missing here um, some are been replaced. I haven't even gone through this yet to see, but uh, the bottom, the first row seems to be complete. So no big deal. I'm sure some place like McMaster Car or something, or even on eBay, I can look for replacements of the ones that are missing. Um, but anyhow, there's also these two. I'm going to say they're machinist type clamps. They're probably. 3 sixteenths thick steel so in any case um, what you're looking at here is eleven dollars worth of fun um, if I didn't say that already but um, I talked to him for a while I looked around I looked around I looked around and he just was wanting to move some stuff out so uh, uh, this is really about the only stuff that I really could see myself 
meeting or using. I'm trying not to bring home stuff, just to bring it home. Um, he had a really nice old uh, Delta uh, bench grinder. I think it was Delta. He had a huge vice. Uh, like I said, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. And he was just blowing stuff out just because it was that time. And, you know, I could have loaded my truck up for probably 100 bucks, but then I have the problem of what to do with it. And, like I said, you know, when you get this for free, um, you know, <laughs> it's hard to complain. So I need the space. I don't have this room. I'm trying to eliminate a lot of stuff. I've been selling a bunch of stuff on eBay lately, um, which is good. I'm trying to move out some of the stuff that I've been sitting on. And uh, that's what I've been doing, trying to stay focused, stay cool, and um, just, you know, get some things done, moved out, and uh, that's about it. So, that's about it for today. Um, I have some other stuff going on. Um, I'll have to see how the weather cooperates next week. Um, I know there's, again... A chance of more rain in the forecast. We actually had some pretty big storms come through here last night. We're supposed to get some more this afternoon, so we shall see. So anyhow, uh, sorry it's been a while, but uh, you know I've been pretty much incapacitated and I haven't been able to do what I want to do. So I've been watching everybody else's stuff and commenting. So anyhow, uh, if you like what you see, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, and have a good one. Thank you very much. Take care.